Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to start learning about inheritance. Part 1, we will discuss inheriting methods. Five important things to know for this lesson. 1. A class that it inherits is called a subclass. 2. A class it is inherited from is called a superclass. 3. Subclasses are in an is-a relationship with their superclass. We'll discuss this more later. 4. A class can have many subclasses, but only one superclass. And 5. Anything with a private modifier is not inherited, but can be indirectly accessed. Here we have an example of a worker class. Worker class does not explicitly extend anything, so it is not explicitly a subclass. However, implicitly, it extends object, so is a subclass of the Java object class. This class has two methods. One, do work, and two, earn minimum wage. Do work is a public method. That means two important things. One, it will be inherited to subclasses. And two, it can be directly accessed from other classes. Earn minimum wage is a private method. That means two things. One, it will not be inherited to subclasses. And two, it can't be directly accessed from other classes. Our next class is Tradesperson. Tradesperson is a subclass of Worker. Tradesperson adds a new method called Do Skilled Work. So, Tradesperson will inherit Do Work, and it will not inherit Earn Minimum Wage because it is private, and Tradesperson will add a new method, Do Skilled Work. Our third class is Carpenter. Carpenter is a subclass of Tradesperson. So Carpenter will indirectly inherit Do Work, it will directly inherit Do Skilled Work, and it will add its own method Do Woodwork, because Carpenters have the additional skill of being able to do woodwork. So here's a map of what our relationship looks like. Worker is a object, tradesperson is a worker, and carpenter is a tradesperson. Let's take a look at a new class, worksite. So we've declared a variable, Alex, that is a worker type of variable, and we've initialized it with a new instance of the worker class. When we call Alex, earn minimum wage. This is not legal. Since we are trying to call earn minimum wage from the worksite class, we can't do this because earn minimum wage is private. Earn minimum wage can only be called from another method in the worker class. Now we are trying to call do work from Alex, and of course Alex is an instance of the worker class. This is legal, because do work is public, which means we can directly access it from another class, in this case worksite. Now what's interesting here is our output will actually be does unskilled work and earns minimum wage. Because even though earn minimum wage is private, we can call do work from worksite, and then do work calls earn minimum wage. So indirectly here, we are calling a private method earn minimum wage. Let's look at this next class, worksite2. We've got a worker, Alex, and initializing it with a new worker, tradesperson, Barbara, and initializing it with a new tradesperson, and carpenter, Carol, and initializing it with a new carpenter. We call do work from Alex. This is legal because do work is a method inside a worker class, and Alex points to an instance of the worker class. This is also legal. Do work is inherited 
from the worker class. The tradesperson is a worker and thus inherits all public methods. Carol. Carol is a variable of type carpenter and initialized with an instance of the carpenter class. It is legal for Carol to call the do work method because Carol, the Carol variable, inherits do work from tradesperson, which inherited it from worker. And let's look at a third and final class, worksite. We've got worker Alex again, and initialize it with a new worker. Tradesperson Barbara, the variable Barbara, and initialize it with a new instance of the tradesperson class. And Carpenter Carol, Carol variable we initialize with a new instance of the Carpenter class. This is illegal because a superclass cannot inherit from a subclass. Only a subclass can inherit from a superclass. So our worker class does not inherit from its subclass Carpenter. Same here. We have the Barbara variable, which is a tradesperson and that does not inherit from its subclass Carpenter. We call Carol the do woodwork method. This is legal. The Carol variable points to an instance of the Carpenter class, and the Carpenter class contains the method do woodwork. For further reading on inheritance, you can check out this website, or you can type inheritance oracle into Google. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about method overriding. That's where we replace a method from the superclass in a subclass with a slightly different version of it.